what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can tweak windows 10 now if you're looking to make tweaks or changes or customizations to windows 10 i'm going to show you a tool that you can use to do a lot of that in one fell swoop so you can see here it's called ultimate tweaker uh, 4 or ultimate windows tweaker 4 and it's from the windows club and uh, you can download this tool for free and it has a lot of tools in there that you can use to tweak your Windows 10. They also do other versions as well, previous versions for Windows 8 and Windows 7 and Windows uh, Vista. If you want to look those up, you can go to the Windows Club website and have a look on there, okay? Now I've already got the uh, program downloaded here onto my desktop. I'm just gonna open this up. It comes in a, a zip file, so you need to unzip it, but I'm just gonna quickly click on this and then run this. And there we have the actual program itself. It's going to give you some useful information, like system information here, uh, which you can get. You can also access some useful tools here, like a uh, system file checker, also a run Windows system image. You can also create a system restore point. This program automatically creates a restore point for you when you first open it for the first time, just in case something goes wrong. You've also got uh, advanced uh, recovery options here. Now moving on down to some of these uh, links here that we've got on the side, you can see here customization. This is for the customization part uh, for Windows 10. So if you want to remove certain things here, you can use these uh, boxes here by just putting ticks in or taking them out. Um, you can also come down further. As you can see, you've got your taskbar and thumbnail area that you can make changes to. You can also reset back to defaults uh, if you wish. Uh, if something's gone wrong and you don't like it, you can also rest uh, restore this back to the default settings. You've also got one here for the whole changes that you may have made. And you've also got a big uh, create restore uh, point button here as well. So let's move through these quickly here. File Explorer, you can customize your file explorer area here, as you can see. And uh, we're just going to quickly move on to the... Uh, uh, modern UI so you can change uh, this area here but without digging all through the uh, windows here you can see we've got disable uh, lock screen and so on and loads of other useful bits here I'm just going to quickly move on to the windows 10 here uh, show hibernation a few other bits and pieces here as you can see and this PC you can uh, customize this PC area from here as well by adding bits and pieces to the this PC area if you wish Let's move on down to the uh, user accounts area. Again, change user accounts control setting is a direct link here. As soon as you click on this, it will take you straight here uh, and you can quickly changes, uh, make changes to that as well. Uh, the, your system failure here automatically restart, show blue screen. Uh, I'd advise you to leave that on the show blue screen so you can get um, the actual blue screen uh, details. Uh, this is very useful when you want to diagnose issues rather than it just restart without leaving a blue screen this will force it to try and leave a blue screen to see what the error is and what not very useful uh, if you're posting stuff on forums maybe on my forum it's very useful to do that uh, also you've got some uh, user account uh, controls here you can change you can see here big list of stuff there I'm going to move on down to performance this is going to be all your tweaking area for your performances as you can see I'm not going to go right through all these too much. If you want to open up your services area, you can open up for services straight in here, as you can see, and make changes there. But they've got some useful stuff here, as you can see, uh, waiting time to kill applications uh, timeout during the shutdown. This is very useful. If you want to make it shut down a lot quicker, you can, uh, 2000 is two seconds. So if you wanted to make that uh, less, you can do. Uh, but be very careful, don't go too mad with it, um, i.e. Uh, making it too low because otherwise you don't run into issues again waiting time to end services at shutdown as well uh, this is five seconds uh, or five thousand milliseconds but it will be five seconds so as you can see here uh, you've got some other bits here like disable uh, super fetch service disable prefetch service and stuff like that you can just put your ticks in uh, to disable whatever you want to do here Moving on to the security and privacy area, this is a great area where we've talked about before with this, uh, the privacy issues with Windows 10. 
uh, th this program has got this all packed into here as well so you can just use this tool to do everything you want to do i.e. disable registry editor, disable control uh, panel, disable task manager, disable uh, win key shortcuts and so on, disable uh, command prompt so if you want to lock down your system a little bit you can do so uh, here by using this program rather than going in and making uh, registry edits and stuff like that or in uh, group policy editor again uh, you've got some disabled features here you can see uh, windows area here you can see uh, disable explorers uh, context menu and so on loads of good bits here for you in the privacy area here you can see this is where you normally disable all those nasty uh, spying features in windows 10 like uh, telemetry uh, and all these other ones here you just put the ticks all in these that you want to disable and then you're pretty much good to go disable katana if you want to and, so, and whatnot moving on to the internet explorer here now internet explorer has got uh, loads of features that you can tweak as well as you can see here uh, useful ones that you may want to uh, tweak around here you can just go into here and make changes i.e. for the home page uh, disable compatibility list uh, clear cache on e every exit now you, of course you can make these changes yourself inside um, the actual edge or into the explorer if you want to but uh, this will do it for you uh, all right in this one location here moving on to uh, context menu again you've got your context menu editor here you can add stuff in if you wish uh, desktop context menu you can add more bits and pieces in here you can put it into say for instance create restore point here middle top or bottom uh, another area here this is your other bits and pieces you've got uh, this uh, desktop uh, context menu 2 windows defender quick search full search all that sort of good stuff very useful as you can see here drives again you've got all your add and remove here going on to the additional plenty of uh, stuff to mess around with here you've got your networking uh, tweaks here which is um, all your tweaks for your networking stuff like restrict uh, access over anonymous connections uh, prevent network auto discovery you can do all these bits and pieces if you want to make those changes there and again ultimate windows tweaker options automatically start when windows starts uh, integrate with Windows context menu you can add this feature this program into those areas if you want to have quick access to this program very nice little touch here. you can edit the OEM information uh, if you want to make change the OEM information you can quickly edit it by clicking on this here and this will allow you to make changes like the manufacturer model so if you're custom building PCs uh, for people you may want to add in your uh, website details your phone number um, support hours and your logo and uh, your manufacturer name and stuff like that as well very useful for PC repair techs um, there and also you've got the about part which is all about uh, the Windows uh, Club or Windows uh, Windows tweaker itself okay and you've got a link to the publisher here okay and you've got the developer here uh, and these uh, you've got some feedback here home page um, support and uh, check for updates and whatnot everything is in this one program so that's basically in a nutshell how you can quickly uh, tweak Windows 10 by using the ultimate uh, Windows tweaker tool 4.0 my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that video request or you want me to do a review of something then hit the forums up join up over there and uh, make a message on there and I'll do my best to make those videos for you Anyway, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can always head over to there as well and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you a penny. And I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.